<laughs> All right. <laughs> so if you're new here to Late Night with Cab, we have a segment where I cover bad graphic design. We laugh at it and we kind of just see like why it's bad or like just chuckle at it. But this time we're going to do something that's more down Yeti's line. So we're going to go to he likes bad tattoos. Um, and so we're, we're going to go over um, bad graphic design, but with tattoos. So here you go. <laughs> All right, so the first tattoo was something it, it fits, right? Because we we're, we all feel like we're winning, correct? And we Ooh. would get like a winning tattoo. Oh, it's supposed to be Charlie Sheen. Okay, it definitely looks <laughs> like it looks like Herman Munster with a touch of the downs. Yeah, it's it's not uh, it's not very winning. <laughs> and then does it say something in the forehead area? Um, I think it's kind of a cover up, like because there's some other text from a different tattoo there. Ah, uh, it might say Yeti Yef. I'm not sure. Can you enhance? Uh, um, no. <laughs> then it must say Yeti Yef, and since we can't enhance, that's what we're gonna go with. Yeah, Archie says, "Is that a tattoo of Yeti?" I don't think that's. Well, it could I... be. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like what's that face he's doing? <laughs> it's just like, hey, I'm Charlie Sheen. It's like, and I'm winning. I got some dip. <laughs> and I've been in the sun for far too long. <laughs> yeah, it, it. when I saw this one, I was like, okay. And it's even got like a mistake where the eye is. Do you see like the second eye there where like they kind of like double lined it? I just noticed the wonky eye. The wonky eye is what I can see the best. I'm talking about down there at the, win with the word winning. So right there on the oh. second ing there's a mark there that uh oh i was looking at like the eyes <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot going on here so you do have to kind of focus but and charlie um, sheen's neck is so ripped look it's so veiny yeah it's yeah and it's shaded in multiple spots Why? it's kind of got that like comb over like bowl cut going on and his you know, face is just thing. so it's just so crooked <laughs> i love it i love it i like it quite a bit i don't think you could do any better than that um, it, Kelsey said it looks like the guy from the new Karate Kid, and it says winning. Which, K, K Kelsey Pulse? Which one? Yeah, which one? There's a couple of guys in that show. And this, Dude, has... I don't understand why people love that show. Oh, I got it for season one. Oh, I got it in season two. Season three started to become a teen drama, and seven, season four. Ugh. Dude, it's bad enough we got to look at, like, Johnny Lawrence's adopted kid and, like, what's the other guy? The main guy, Ralph. Ralph Macchio. Oh. Dude, I feel Danny? like that's for Danny. Danny yeah. Lawrence? No, Danny Lawrence. What's Danny his name? Lawrence. Come on, come on, chat. Uh, anyway, like he's got his daughter. They're doing karate together. That was enough. And then there's like another kid coming in, and I swear to God, that stream is getting closer. <laughs> um, Dude, if I get mauled on your stream, congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be cool. So, just. A uh, Lynx. Wham! <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> Danny LaRusso. Danny Thanks, LaRusso, Lisa. dude. And then he's got like a, a younger kid. He's always playing the Nintendo Switch and he's pissed off. And now he's a bully. I was like, yeah, no, nah, we're done. We got to turn this off. I'm not I watching the teen drama. Like somebody from that show, but... Kelsey Balls don't know what she's talking about. She's huffing paint. Now, if you went in and you were so excited and you were like, I, I got to get the Charlie Sheen winning tattoo and you came out with this, would you be a, would you be okay? I feel like if you are the type of person that's going to go get that tattoo, that you definitely indulge in some tiger blood and you will be so happy with that tattoo because your eyesight is impaired at all times. Yeah, because tiger blood will give you the cataract. Fact. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so if you look at that with a squinty enough eye, yeah, you'll be down. If that's on his arm or leg? I believe that's a calf muscle. No, that's his shin. That's his shit. foot. His foot is uh. See his foot behind him. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a all right. On his Imagine his... playing soccer with that guy. He'd win every game. You'd be so distracted by what the hell is going on on his leg. Yeah, I I would. Um. Uh, I I don't know. It didn't even fill in the eyebrows or anything. It just looks kind of. I don't know. I would return. I would try to at least let them yeah. fix it. I wonder what the return policy is on tattoos. Uh, 
they'll charge you to cover it up. So. I mean, they were already covering up one probably that they did before. <laughs> that yeah. Yeti yep right uh, there. Aaron Dust Hotel says, I think Charlie can afford a real tattoo. Oh, you think this is the real Charlie Sheen? Uh, we can't put it past him, can we? I mean, Steve-O has a tattoo of Steve-O. <laughs> he does. He does. Right. So, so the next tattoo. Now, do you have any tattoos? I have one. Okay, and when you went in, you showed someone what you wanted, right? Or at least told them. A crude drawing, yes, but I was a little intoxicated. Okay, but you at least you showed Allegedly. And it, did it come out the way you wanted it? It could be worse. <laughs> okay. so this person came in with the pitcher on the left and got the right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, dear listener, if you're just listening to this on audio, on the left is like a masterfully drawn pine tree. That is a... Uh... Yeah, it's got birds and it's got a cool Celtic band. It's it's got some sort of tree with all the leaves have fallen off of it. It's very gothic looking. Some cool crows or some shit in the background. It's nice. Yeah. yeah it's, now, um, what he got is a black flame with wings, a lot of wings, and then some pigeons bats. in the air. Yeah, or bats. <laughs> it, it's kind of like a, I don't, I'm not sure. It's like, tr it's like almost like they drew like a triangle with trees coming out of it. Cause the, yeah, it's not great. I feel like with, you're getting a tattoo, and if they're like, mm, this will be, a hundred bucks and that's the level of detail that you want and they are like 100 150 you should be prepared for this like that tattoo on the left easily a thousand dollars right uh yeah 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 garrett easily. says um it looks like a vibrator with branches that yep garrett strikes again that's exactly what it looks like yeah uh -huh. <laughs> he likes to make outsider art he calls it so i wouldn't be surprised if he's already put that together <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I would uh, want this um, on my... I think it's a arm, forearm. So, Dude, and here's the other thing. Did you not look down as they were making that and like think to yourself, this is not going to go well? Maybe it was his friend and he was not going to... He just doesn't want to be nice. He wants to be nice and just kind of say... No, no. If there's ever a time to be a bastard, it's when you're getting a tattoo. You You demand that to be correct. Yeah, um, I think R2 said it, it. it is a tattoo of Kelsey shotgun in a beer. You know what? <laughs> Dude, ever since Kelsey, Kelsey used to live in my sweet state of Colorado, man. She used to be in these woods, but she left to go to Texas, and she's never been drunker. She's uh, picked up a drinking problem ever since she got down there. She drinks shots <laughs> of whiskey and chases up with barbecue sauce. I'm worried for her health. <laughs> she's going to get yeah, the she, type 2 diabetes. Yeah, she, she was... Um... She was she was a hoot, I would say. <laughs> she was hammered. <laughs> no, I, she kept I making had a good time. passes at you, man. She was hitting on you the entire episode. She was? was no, no. Yeah. It's gross, Kelsey. Keep it in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep it tame here. <laughs> PG thirteen at most. <laughs> Um, let's see here. And so the next one was actually submitted by one of your fans. So I asked by one of my fans. Oh, cool. Yeah. When I, when you invited me into your discord for a little bit, I <clears> said, <throat> Hey, um, I'm going to do a tattoo segment on my channel. When we go live, submit one, if you have one. And this was Man. submitted by the pod riper, um, the pod ripper, the dude, <laughs> that's Kayla. Sorry. Cause she rips ass on a pod. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was Kayla. But um, yeah. so she's, I don't know if this is her. I said not picture just to make sure. I mean, she's but a brunette, it's... but she, that doesn't mean she was always a brunette, you know? It says uh, failure failure by design. In some <laughs> on the, dank on, cursive. On the Here's the thing. There. That's basically going to be hieroglyphs to kids because I don't even think they teach cursive anymore. So no one's going to know what the hell that is. Y yeah, the U and the R kind of. Look like a W. Looks like a fail war. Just right across <laughs> her forehead, man. And then and they kind of gave up on the cursive on the, the word design. Like the D doesn't even look like a D. The penmanship did degrade. <laughs> and then she's got some like sores on her head forehead. So I'm oh, not sure what's going on there. Meth well, meth. It's a hell of uh, a drug. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vanquish says that's a a well adjusted girl for sure. Mm, yeah, for sure. You want to bring her home to mom and definitely have at least nine children with that. 
And I will Kelsey refer to it as I, that. I know that forehead. So maybe she knows this person. <laughs> it's Kayla's forehead. <laughs> Kelsey says, holy shit, that's Big Jen's forehead. Oh, dude, Big Jen is a blonde. Oh, dude, the Twisted Pickle Witch, as we so lovingly call her. Yeah, Sam that's says, probably is. Fail move by disease. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, dude, face tattoos you can't do it don't do it no don't there's a it. lot of bad face tattoos out there is there a such thing as a good face tattoo or even your neck like come on guys let's, let's mm, keep it if you made it i don't know maybe there is maybe nah. you can tattoo a beard and then it... well keep coming with those great ideas there fella <laughs> that's not a bad idea yeah just tattoo then, one yeah, on. people do that with in, their hair when it looks so patchy now hmm, yeah all right well coming this november yeti boys going to the tattoo parlor garrett says tell me you live in a trailer park without telling me you live in a trailer park <laughs> yeah that's Pretty the cool. ultimate comment for sure that's a double wide that lives in a double wide mm -hmm. <laughs> so so yeah that was submitted by uh, i guess uh you i'm sorry who was that again that you, the kayla the pod ripper kayla, okay. oh, the pod ripper okay she must does she does she always provide the tattoo pictures? Because she yeah. was like quick, she was quick on it. She, she I asked for it and I got it like within five. She seconds. loves terrible tattoos. I don't know. I don't know why. She just loves them. It's like <laughs> Brian loves bricks of cheese. She just loves bad tattoos. Uh, uh Broba says chicks tattoo their eyebrows, so why not tattoo a beard? I it, I mean, could you make more sense? I don't think you could. I, I think next time you come on live, you'll have one for sure. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. Or I'll start catfishing you. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why my camera doesn't work. You're, you're a big DC fan, right? You're a big comic fan, no? No, no? not at all. Oh, I thought Shit's you were for nerds. Oh, well, don't look at my walls then. I know. I know. My whole Discord was like, if he has Funkos on his wall, are you going to be able to contain yourself from ripping into him? And I was like, I don't know if I can. You could rip on me. It's fine. I can. <laughs> no, you're so nice. The reason I was asking you that was because I don't know if you've seen um, Jared, uh, Jared Leto's Joker version. He has like a bunch of tattoos on his face. Someone says that. I saw a picture of it. Like it's a damaged or whatever. You're right? inspired by that. So. Yeah. What yeah. movie was he even in? Uh, he was in... Was it Justice League? Because that I turned that no, one off. I think he was in Batman vs. Superman. I kind of saw that one. That's the one with Martha. Martha. Yeah, I do have Star Wars figures. They're they're just behind my head. They're back there. Nice. Nah, that's nope. that's perfect. You said you're coming up on forty. No, that's perfectly healthy. Per yeah, dude. The mirror image is. Suicide Squad. Too. That's what it was. Garrett got us right. Thank uh, you. Thanks, Garrett. I forgot about that movie. <laughs> I yeah. So, I think most people have. So yes, normally we do bad graphic design, like bad poster art or bad uh, logos or something crazy. Um, but like I said, tonight we did uh, tattoos. Uh, and I, what I do is I clip these out, so we'll share them out, so you can share the this segment to your with your friends. But if you are, if you do need graphic advice, or if you're just looking to see a, I think I'm a pretty good designer. You can check me out on Instagram at uh, Gunter Graphics. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a graphic designer, you can also contact me as well.